Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick and I'm a top author on trading you with over 190k reputation points. In this video, I will be speaking about NZD USD. Now, as usual, to keep the video as educational as possible, first I will be covering the technical aspect for this market. Then we will be moving to the order flow by looking at the commitment of traders to so the COT data. So essentially what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing and how they're shifting their orders. And by the end of the video, by putting together these two different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for the next potential move here for this pair. This is definitely a video you do not want to miss. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. This is the place to be for high quality, free trading education. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight onto the charts. Starting here from the monthly time frame, what we can see is that we have a market which at the moment is testing and rejecting to the upside a quite strong historical monthly support and demand area. From here, in fact, all these previous rejections to the upside have been created. At the moment, the market is testing the exact same zone, has already started rejecting it to the upside. So from here, more bullish price action could be expected away from the area. So the monthly time frame does seem quite bullish. Dropping down on the weekly time frame, what do we see? Now, from a weekly standpoint, we can notice a very clear impulse to the upside, followed by a correction. Currently, the market is following through with the continuation to the upside, essentially completing this weekly impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside. We can also notice that the market has just tested and rejected also quite important structure level. This zone was clearly acting as previous resistance here, which really stopped the market exactly at this level. Then we had the rejection to the downside, then the break above the zone. Then the market went and retested exactly the previous resistance turn support and rejected it to the upside. So essentially this is kind of a textbook behavior that the market has shown here because it is exactly what you would usually expect according to standard technical analysis because the market retested exactly the level that it was supposed to test and rejected it to the upside. We can also notice that as we have an impulse and correction, if we want to measure the correction, we have to take our Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse leg, which shows us how we have the 0.32 Fibonacci retracement lining up exactly with this previous resistance turn support. Now, this creates confluence of support because we have multiple layers of support in the same area of price, which increases the probability of seeing institutional longing. And we will be speaking about institutional longing in just a couple of minutes when we move to the commitment of traders analysis. But for now, let's keep all of this in mind and drop down on the daily time frame. Now, from a daily perspective, I did speak about the NCD USD just a few days ago when the market was around this area. I explained all the reasons for which we could expect the break, retest and rejection to the upside, which is in fact exactly what the market gave us here. And by the way, I will link in the description that previous analysis so you can go and check it out for more free education. Now, at the moment, what we can see is that the market is currently breaking out above the high. This level was acting as previous resistance. Now the market is breaking it to the upside. If we will see a successful break above this resistance, that is where things get interesting. But before we dig deeper into what we have here from a technical side, first, let's go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders. So what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing. Now, if we look at the data for the NZD, it's important to keep in mind that we are essentially already looking at NZD. USD because all currencies on the spot are traded against the USD. And we can see that with the last reports, net positions have been increased quite a bit. We went from minus 16.7K net positions up to minus 1.4K net positions. So essentially, institutions are moving back to the bullish side on NCD USD. And we can notice, in fact, how currently the longs got increased on the institutional side of the market from 17K up to 26K. So at the same time, also shorts are getting decreased, going from 38K down to 27K. So it is clear that also institutions seem to expect that rejection to the upside away from the historical support that we have just identified on the monthly time frame at the beginning of the analysis. And in fact, the market is already rejecting that level to the upside. So let's keep all of this in mind and move back to the chart. And by the way, if you still haven't, make sure that you join my free Telegram channel, which you find linked in the description. So you never miss new updates. Now back to the analysis. So from a daily perspective, the market is now trying to break above this resistance. If the break will be successful and the market will then retest the level, 
that is where things get really interesting because if we do get this break and retest at that point, there is a good probability of seeing even more institutional longing, which could bring to the completion of this daily impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside, essentially continuing the uptrend here from a daily standpoint. So if we do see this break and retest, what would I expect? Well, as usual, trading is reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly, and daily timeframes combined with the COT data, those are the best timeframes when it comes to the directional aspect of the market. However, when it comes to identifying early shifts in the trend of a market, the best timeframes for that are the intraday timeframes, so for lower and lower. Therefore, what I would expect is that if this market would break and retest this level. And during the retest, the market would shift from an intraday bearish to bullish market. At that point, I wouldn't be surprised to see a potential rejection to the upside, completing the daily impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside. That definitely wouldn't surprise me. Now, if you want to learn more, I really suggest that you go and check out the transparentfxtrading.com website, which you find linked in the description. Here, you have the possibility to gain access to the most complete mentorship program ever that I have created. You have the possibility to gain access to all the courses, the trading station software with the Telegram signals integration, one-on-one -on -one private mentoring directly with me, the COT data software that you see me use in all these videos. And if you continue to scroll down the website, pass the testimonials, you will see that you have the possibility to join and gain automatically access with the email and password that you will create during the sign-up process. So I really suggest that you go and check it out. The link is in the description and I will see you in it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and also let me know in the comments below any new pairs or topics that you would like me to cover in the next videos. And I will see you in my next breakdown.